Adam Fierstein, Dynavax Technologies brings its hepatitis B vaccine in front of an FDA advisory panel next week. Tell me what's going on there. Yeah, uh, Dynavax's vaccine is known as Heplisase, uh, and it's designed to prevent infection with the hepatitis B virus. Now, on Wednesday, an FDA advisory panel will meet uh, to review the safety and efficacy of Heplisase. Um, the panel will then vote on whether or not to recommend uh, the vaccine's approval. And do you have a prediction for that uh, Wednesday panel? Um, you know, I'll say Heplisave wins a positive vote for appro approval. Uh, Heplisave works really well. Uh, in fact, it looks to be the most effective and convenient hepatitis B vaccine that's out there. Um, you know, the risk is safety. Uh, there have been some questions raised about the vaccine causing autoimmune reactions. Um, but this is a, a known side effect of many vaccines, uh, and the incident rate with Heplisave seems to be pretty low. So if Heplisave is approved and it's the best hepatitis C vaccine on the market, Dynavax, it seems like uh, they'd be in a great position, right? Is that correct? Um, you, know, you know, if only life in the drug sector was so easy. Um, you know, there, there are two hepatitis B vaccines on the market today. They're sold by Glaxo, SmithKline, and Merck, respectively. Uh, now, in a perfect world, Dynavax's Heplosave would compete very well against both of those vaccines. Um, but Glaxo and Merck hold intellectual property on a key component that's used to make Dynavax's vaccine. Uh, and right now, it's not clear if Dynavax has the contractual right to sell its vaccine, uh, at least not without paying royalties to Glaxo and Merck. All right, so this is a legal thing. Is this situation unusual, though, where one company can stop another company from selling a drug or a vaccine? You know, usually these sorts of patent conflicts get settled pretty early on. Um, but what, but Dynavax has said really has said kind of nothing about the situation with Glaxo and Merck. So it this is it's very strange what's going on here. Well, how big of a market is there for hepatitis B vaccines? This is a big deal, right? Uh, yeah, the, the worldwide market is somewhere between five hundred million and a billion dollars. Um, now Dynavax is only eligible uh, initially for a smaller slice of that pie because it doesn't have the manufacturing capacity to make enough Heplosave right now.